Everybody wants to be a, a rock star. I would like to hit high notes because I can just do low and normal. <laughs> Scale to one to ten, I'd give myself maybe a nice solid eight. Oh yeah, I love singing, she loves singing. I like singing, yeah. We love singing. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned pro, Scenetrix was designed to take your voice to the next level. The studio unit is the heart of the Scenetrix experience. Inside it, we put the same vocal effects that the pros use. Now I'm gonna take you through a couple of easy steps to make sure you're getting the most out of your Scenetrix. Yeah! The Scenetrix Studio is like the control center. It's where the transformation of your voice begins. As you can see, it's a simple device, just a couple of buttons and a knob. We'll take you through what each one does. To give you an idea how versatile Syntrix is, it doesn't just have one reverb effect, it has 25 reverb effects. You can choose between 350 professional vocal presets with the turn of a dial. The entire list of presets are also listed within the preset booklet. Each preset is a mix of vocal effects that produce a distinctive sound. There are three types of presets, universal, extreme, and song. Universal presets are best for beginners. They're versatile and they go great with every song. Some universal effects are styled to match certain genres of music like country, rock, and pop. I once was lost. Extreme presets are more transformative, gender bending, morphing, basically pushing the envelope of your voice. I've been thinking about you all night. Robots are doing the robot. Song presets are more advanced. They're designed to best match the vocal style of favorite karaoke anthems. Only shooting stars break the mold. You can also set your favorite presets within the first 10 memory banks by pressing and holding the mic volume button. Every scene trick comes stocked with our favorite 10 presets already set up, which is a great place to start. So for each effect, the hit effect button toggles the supercharged version of it, generating live vocal harmonies from your voice. It's like having up to four backup singers, an instant supergroup at the press of a button. Like, like a thousand people. You can either toggle here on the mic or here on the studio. I typically use the hit effect button whenever I'm singing choruses. You can choose from three levels of voice enhancement with the My Voice button. Think of them as, you know, skill levels. There's Enhanced, which has lots of pitch correction for people who are just starting out. Semi-Pro, which is a little less heavy on the pitch correction. And Pro, no pitch correction, but still has all the voice sweetening effects as the other two. If you're going to be singing with the standard song from your library that has existing vocals, you'll want to use the Song Voice button. What this does is it lowers the vocals from your standard song, turning any song in your library into a karaoke song. If you're a louder singer, you can lower the volume with the mic volume button. And if you're a quieter singer, you can set the volume higher. Just so you know, the mic volume is already set to the optimum level. We recommend singing either closer or farther from the mic, depending on how loud or soft your singing voice is. Should be ready to go. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. The main volume button controls the overall volume of the mix going to the speaker. Scenetrix comes with these settings already in place, so you shouldn't have to mess with them too much. However, if you are using an additional speaker or headphones, this might come in handy. You can even chain additional Scenetrix or PA speakers together to rock out in larger rooms. You can also take the studio off the stand and go portable. Say for instance if you wanted to sing karaoke in a more casual situation such as your bedroom. The button on the mic works just like the hit effect button on the studio, activating the supergroup effect to your voice. If you want to sing with a partner, we got you covered, because the studio actually works with two mics. Mic 1 input is the lead and has all of the effects. Mic 2 input is the backup with simpler effects like reverb and delay. Hey now, you're a rock star, get to show one, get paid. The speaker packs a lot of sound considering how lightweight and portable it is. You've got a 2.1 stereo speaker system with a built-in subwoofer on the bottom. At 40 watts, it's so powerful, you could even use it as a home theater or gaming speaker. So let's get ready to sing. Turn the speaker volume to 50%. Then turn on the studio, and make sure your smartphone, tablet, or whatever you're using is plugged in. What makes this really cool is that you can use any music from your own library, karaoke apps, or videos. Important note, if you're using a third-party karaoke app, make sure to disable the microphone ability within the app itself on your smartphone or tablet to avoid any feedback. Again, the unit comes shipped with the speaker and mic volume already optimized, so let's leave those levels where they are. What we do want to tweak is the volume on your device. Start singing into the mic while raising the volume of the music on your device until you find a nice balance between the two. So once your voice sounds like it's sitting pretty with the track, 
Adjust the volume on the speaker to how loud you want to rock out. Hey now, you're an all-star. Get the show on, get paid. Hey now, you're a rock star. Get the show on, get paid. All that glitters is gold. Now that you know how to use scene tricks, it's time to throw a party. So call all your friends and invite me too. Please. <laughs>